Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix crashing in Filmora 12. In this video I'll just share my personal opinion, that's what I've tested and it worked and it fixed crashes for me and it hopefully will increase the crashes for you as well because it's so annoying, like it's so painful and I can completely rate, uh, relate with you this problem, this is very 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 annoying because like you edit it for half an hour, 10 minutes and it crashes and it's just bothering and it's, I don't think it's necessarily the uh, the Filmora, the editing software, I really like it. It's just the way you set the way you set up your work space. If that makes any sense, if it does, but I'll explain it what I mean by that. So now let's jump right into the video and also make sure you subscribe for daily tutorials and like this video if this video is going to help you. Also, let me know in the comment section it, the results if it worked. I really want to know if it worked. I do want to know I really do want to know if I uh, helped you otherwise let me know in comment section your thoughts uh, if it didn't work let me know I really want to know and now without further ado let's jump right into the video so let's open Filmora and now first thing first and first is the most important and uh, that is to that is to close all the apps that are running in the background now, as you can see right now i have a bunch of apps running in the background but i'm not editing any 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 video so it's fine it's not lagging but if it's lagging for you make sure you close all the apps in the background uh, maybe you have a live wallpaper like this close it don't need it okay that's very obvious things i know but i just had to mention it i had to do it okay but um now the next method let's go to graphics settings click on the best match and now you should see here filmora if you scroll down make sure you here you select the best performance we want the best performance okay when we using this editing softer and uh, now the next step is to click on here and usually it crashes at least for at least for me i used to work with 4k footage and it looks to crash so what you have to do here is to select one by four quality which means will diminish the quality of the video so you will play uh, the the playback will be smooth you're gonna have a smooth playback instead of a lag f uh, playback which we don't need that right and also make sure you save your project every time you edit after a couple of minutes make sure you're doing that that's very important and um, another thing that you can do is to go to task manager and here we'll look locate where is um, where is where is where is Filmora and then what you have to do is to right click on Filmora if I can okay Filmora and uh, not uh, first expand Filmora and then go to Filmora and right click go to details and now here go to Filmora here you should right click on Filmora and set high priority so Windows will prioritize this instead of other softwares or in other things that you have. And uh, another thing that you can do, guys, is to just optimize your Windows overall, okay? That's very important as well. And uh, I hope I don't forget every, uh, anything. So also make sure you optimize your Windows like you can also go to adjust 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 uh, okay i can't write okay performance no write performance then click on here make sure you don't use um don't use uh, adjust for best perf per for best appearance use adjust for best performance I mean, it looks, it doesn't really look better. There's no much, much of a difference. Look, when I'm moving this uh, window, it looks like this. You don't see the inside. It's just the frame of this window. When we click on, uh, if you click on best performance, you won't see this frame. Anyways, just click on uh, uh, custom 
or best performance and I like to only select smooth edges of screen because otherwise it will look all kind of ugly and show timeless instead of icons because I would like to see the thumbnails so when there's any image or video I like to see the thumbnail like an image here you see the thumbnail you don't see the uh, just an icon like an image so that's pretty much it guys I want to make this video too long I just want to uh, just to deliver uh, the methods that I promise I'm gonna show you and that's it and I hope this video helps you thank you for watching and take care